I wanted to do a sculpture of somebody who had influenced my life and uh, Krishnamurti is the thinker I think that has influenced my life more than any other. Um, the one who says let there be no gurus, um, so he's certainly not a guru of mine. Um, but his thinking has influenced me and reading his books has changed the way I think. Um, which is, I think, as much as you can say about any thinker. It's an early sculpture of mine. It took me six weeks to do. Um, but I am pleased with it because people's reactions have been very positive. Um, if he looks like he's bending over to listen, this is because I think he was very good at that. He certainly listened to the world and he wanted us to listen to it. Um, he was all for seeing and not believing. Um, I, I listened and watched um, videos of him um, talking. Um, teaching um, in order to get the subject um, and I think watching so many hours of videos had a beneficial effect on me and I hope it had on the sculpture um, I'm always surprised when I look at it after not really seeing it up close for a good many months um, how alive his eyes seem, but that's because to me, when he was, when I was watching the video, he was alive, even though he died in 1976. Um, I think his influence in the world has been enormous and understated in general. I think he he influenced countries um, and uh, states. California is a state I think he influenced a lot. Belize is a country he influenced a lot, um, let alone India, Australia, and of course England, uh, and um, Holland, and goodness, a great many places. So it was, it was my um, contribution towards his um, his great beneficial influence that inspired me to uh, sculpt him. <laughs>